With the new year almost here, many of us will be making resolutions to improve our lives. And our consumer lawyer, Eric Seidel, says it's the perfect time to resolve to take control of your finances and better manage your money. The key to a New Year's resolution is to have a plan and follow it through. With that in mind, 2010 is a great year to give yourself a financial makeover. When it comes to New Year's resolutions, some may want to lose weight. Others plan to give up smoking. But this year, as the economy starts to pick up... Just about everybody has on their list that they want to get their financial houses in order. So Ameriprise Financial Sharon Lefkowitz recommends a financial makeover consisting of five steps. First on the list, track your spending. Fixed costs like your mortgage should be separated from luxuries. Entertainment, dining out, those kinds of things, you have wiggle room. And the point is not to deny yourself completely, but to make smart choices about how you spend your money. Next, make sure you have enough cash saved up for emergencies. Typically, 6 to 12 months of expenses is what you want to build up toward. Just in case something should happen that's unexpected, like a layoff, you want to make sure you're prepared. Third, focus on the long term, like retirement or college savings, to avoid making emotional decisions. An emotional decision would be to not invest at all because you don't know where the, where the market is going in the short term or to take an entire account and put it in cash and just wait until you think the time is right. Market timing never works. It's also a great time to review and update your estate plan and insurance. Especially now at the start of the new year, make sure your homeowners, your auto coverage, your life, disability, health, all of those insurances are in order. And lastly, continue to invest. Wall Street has been on a historic upswing over the last eight months. As deflated 401ks and other retirement funds are being rejuvenated, dreams of a comfortable retirement are once again in view for many of us. But financial planners say if you've been investing all along, it's a great time to talk to your financial advisor. With a 60% return in the stock market lately, it might be a good time to rebalance your retirement portfolio. Eric Seidel, Fox 13 News.